So these items range from rice, clothes, uh, shoes, used clothing, uh, from food to oil to everything. I'll call them items of love coming in from uh, people who were touched when Inshri FM and the multimedia group invited them to donate towards the poor. Now, in Shrabodo, let me call it Widow's Might, is something that the multimedia group does to put smiles and hope on the faces of the less privileged in society. Today is the D-Day where many of these charity homes come around. Children who are less privileged, people who are disadvantaged, come to be feted right here on the premises of Inshra and Love FM. Now, I have with me here the events and promotions executive for Love and Inshra FM, Eric Inkum. Now, tell me, um, where are these items going? There are a lot of um, children's homes in Kumasi. We have about 70 of them. And through the donations um, of our listeners, we've been able to get huge number of items to be given out to these orphans, these kids who have no source of livelihood. Well, not just the items, there are some cash um, to be given out as well. Um, because we at Multimedia believe that when you put a smile on the faces of these young ones who have no source of li livelihood, God in return blesses you. So we're doing this in partnership with our loyal listeners who have, who have always been with Insha and Love FM. And we say thank you to them. So this is the, uh, call it the festive ground. This is the final part of what we are doing today for Insha Abodo, where inmates from the various orphanages and homes come together to enjoy themselves, to be feted. And as you can see, they are all seated. Let me find out from them where they are coming from and how they feel about this gesture. Mama, to say, Yami Adumeye. Now, here I'm free by Hane. Patrick, free Asante Bequai, Central Destitute Infirmary, 1957, and I'm Chroma, ABC Woho. No, yeah, no, and say the whole Africa. So, this is what she's telling me that she comes from Asante Bequai, uh, a home where destitutes are kept, people who do not have anybody to depend on. That is where uh, they, they, they come. Me, Strabo, do Omiya Mayeno, and so you need. She says that without Inshrabodo, this particular program, they wouldn't know what to do. They get to get clothes from it, they get uh, uh, footwear from it, they get food uh, from it every year to feed inmates of that particular home. These children are also coming from uh, a home at New Koforidia and they are telling me that they like in Shrabodo because they give them food, they give them things to take home. Every year, we are invited to enjoy the program. We are giving food, we are giving clothing, we are giving money, many things. And uh, it is helpful. So you look forward to in Shrabodo every year? Every year, even uh, the children, when we go back home, uh, they are, they are, this thing is, when will we go again? The time, is it due? Let's go, let's go, I will go. Uh, unfortunately, this year, or some times now, the coronavirus doesn't permit them, don't permit us to bring them all. That is a, a big uh, disturb. So, you heard them, uh, they look forward to Inshrabodo, which is a, a charity program organized every year by Inshra FM and the multimedia group for dis the disadvantaged in society. So today they will get to feast uh, with staff of the multimedia group and they got to take home uh, items donated with love from people who listen to Inshra FM and the other brands of the multimedia group. Reporting for Joy News, Erastus Asaridonko, Inshra FM, Kumasi.